America's collapsing economically. I mean, everybody should, you know, that basically deals with any kind of finance and that's been paying attention to this subprime uh, housing debacle uh, should see. It basically started, you know, this is not the first time how uh, the international bankers play the people. They did the same thing back in the early 20s with the Roaring Twenties, as they were called. They issued, started credit. Uh, and allow people to buy things that they didn't have money for. Okay, well, in during the Clinton years, basically they did the same thing. They started printing paper and letting money, what they call money, which was Federal Reserve notes, uh, just flood the, the system and and push the interest rates down and allow people to get credit and loans that they weren't able to sustain. And they knew they weren't going to be able to sustain them, but this is all part of the snares and the traps and the nets that in webs that Esau spins to catch people and it's not just for Hebrew Israelite so-called black people and Latino people but it's also for Caucasians as well now we can just see what happened with Bear Stearns uh, this is this the, the, the Bear Stearns is owned by the international bankers the Federal Reserve is owned by the international bankers if you go and get that book uh, Creatures from Jekyll Island or The Secrets of the Federal Reserve by Eustace Mullins and you, and you read these books and I'm sure it's others you will see that the Federal Reserve was set up, it was seven men there, all seven of these men were hooked into the House of Rothschild, simple as that alright and so the Federal Reserve is owned and operated by the House of Rothschild and possibly the British monarchy has a piece in there too but it's basically the international bankers, the descendants of Esau, the Jews and they control the Federal Reserve. They control all of these industries up in here because they are the ones, the House of Rothschild, State, Andrew Carnegie, J.D. Rockefeller, E.H. Harriman, Railroad Steel, and Oil. And they control uh, own everything up in here. Okay, simple as that. Now, they got people, front men, that's working for them, like Warren Buffett. People think he's been told he's the richest man in America or the world. That's totally ludicrous. You know, uh, Warren Buffett... He, the bulk of the cash that he has, as he just showed you, $37 billion that he's going to donate to three uh, charitable organizations. That's because that's not his money. That's Illuminati money. Just like Cecil Rhodes, he was staked by the House of Rothschild. So therefore, when he died, the monies that his estate went back to the Rothschilds. Just like J.P. Morgan, who was the son of Junius Morgan, who was uh, aligned with George Peabody, who Nathan Rothschild cut a deal with back in 1835 to work for him but keep it on the hush hush because the European uh, elite would not deal with the Rothschilds because they figured out that they had been played from the situation with Napoleon and the Great French Revolution and the situation with bringing Napoleon back the second time where he posed a threat and this is when the House of Rothschild, Nathan Rothschild specifically got control of the Bank of, Eng Bank of England through uh, smoke and mirrors that they played the people with and and this is what they continuously do now this Bear Stearns situation basically what they did was they didn't want to pay all of the stockholders they didn't want to pay put 14,000 people out of work that worked for Bears and Stearns who had pensions who had stock so basically when they created this bust like they have done over and over and over again they just wiped out the people they didn't have to pay them any money Okay, basically. I mean, it went down to the stock to $2 a share. Then they brought it back up to $10, and now they're going to pay them 10 But that's a far cry from $170 that it was less than a year prior. All right? They did the same thing with the tech stocks. Okay, they, they got all these people with these 401Ks, which I mentioned on a previous show, and they just took all their monies. Okay? All right. Now, they knew that with the collapse of America, it's a gradual situation. It doesn't just fall at once, okay? They just let the air out, like the air goes out of a tire with a slow leak. And they catch people in these traps and these snares. They know people are not aware, okay? Just like it says in the 33rd chapter of Isaiah, wisdom and knowledge are the stability of these days, okay? Not silver and gold, okay? Not, not so-called paper money, uh, which is not money at all. Stocks, bonds, treasury notes, all this is paper that's backed by a promise and we know now we should know this man doesn't you know he doesn't keep promises he doesn't care about keeping promises he'll come up with something to tell you whatever he needs to tell you alright so now again uh, he created this so that he could wipe people out and it's the subprimes as did the tech stocks hit people of color, hit Caucasians and it hit Latinos okay 
he he hit he wanted to definitely hit Israel, which is your so-called African American and your Latinos. He wanted to definitely take up our money away from us, any assets that we had acquired. He know he's going to knock out plenty of Caucasians. He doesn't care about Caucasians. Caucasians are finally awakening. I would think a lot of them that they've been bamboozled with this uh, American dream of uh, patriotism. Okay, like I said, demos crossy democracy. It means the people who rule by strength. The masses of people don't have any strength. It's only the few people who control all of the economics, all of the military, and all government that have strength. And that's democracy. That's who actually rules. Not the people. All this voting is nothing but a dog and pony show because you don't count any votes. I don't count any votes. They count them the way they want. They make president, vice president, whoever they want. And that's just a fact. Now, again, they came and stripped all the people of their cash. When they did that, now they know people cannot, once they see this thing, actually understand that this thing is crashing. They cannot go and now with the, the incline and upswing of, of gold and silver and platinum and diamonds and emeralds. They can't go and buy any of these things because now they don't have any assets. They closed the bankruptcy window in October of 2005. They shut it down. You, you get debt now, it's going to follow you to the grave unless you can find some way how to acquire enough cash to pay it off. They shut all the avenues down because they know when the Titanic hits the iceberg, see when people get on the Titanic they are brainwashed to think that the Titanic is unsinkable. That's what they were told. So when they get on they got all of their fine clothes and their jewelry. They're thinking about having a party all the way across the ocean over to America. They're not thinking about life jackets. They're not thinking about lifeboats, okay? Which was only about enough lifeboats for 25 percent of the people on the Titanic. So now the same thing applies with assets. When you 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 know he allows you he opens up the the uh, inflationary uh, coffers and, and lets money flow, and he allows people to have uh, uh, acquired things they can't afford. They're not thinking about the day when this is going to end. They're not thinking about when the contraction sets in, because they're in the midst of expansion. It's party, party, party. Let's have a good time. But now when he gets as many as he can in his net, like fish in a net. Then he starts the contraction. And when he starts the contraction, the people out there on this limb, that limb gets sawed off behind them. They have no way, no, no, no parachute. And they have no way to attain any kind of parachute. But let me just say this before this segment ends. Because I hear all this talk about silver gold, silver gold, silver gold. Stocks in silver gold. First of all, stocks are not silver. Stocks are not gold. It's a piece of paper. Okay? It's worthless if they want it to be, and that's how they're going to want it to be. These stocks, gold and silver is rising, and these stocks are not doing anything. Second of all, if you go into chapter 7, Ezekiel, verse 19, our forefathers had silver and gold, and it didn't help them. Y'all said it was the stumbling block of their iniquity because they put their faith in it. All right? Like I said earlier in a piece, in the 33rd chapter of Isaiah, it says their wisdom and knowledge are the stability of these times. And wisdom and knowledge are the stabilities of any times, but especially now. 